Hi guys, it's Kino. Welcome to another video. So today's reading is going to be a little check-in on the energies between you and your person right now. Um, we're going to see what is blocking or helping your connection right now and what is likely to play out between the two of you based on your current situation. So there are four readings for you guys to choose from today and I'm gonna show you all the crystals one by one and then you can choose whichever one um, is drawing you in the most. So number one is Sunstone. Number two is Citrine. Number three is Appetite. And number four is Fluorite. Okay, so as always, take all the time you need to pick. You can pause the video if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and get started with number one. Hi, number ones. So if you chose the Sunstone, this is going to be a reading. So the way this reading is going to work is first I want to look at the past, present, and future of this connection. And then I want to see if it's currently being helped or blocked, and if so, by what. Um, then we can see what's likely to be an outcome for the two of you and get some, some guidance for you on this journey. Okay, so... <laughs> The first card to represent your current energy is the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so number ones, I can see why you are asking this question if you're going to end up together or not. Um, because from this card, it looks like this has been quite a while coming. Um, I do see from this card that you really do value this person, they're very important to you, and you do feel that it's worth it, but it's likely been quite a long wait and with little to no progress. Um, so there may be just a feeling of, you know, getting impatient. And I, I do think that you guys believe in this connection and believe that it's going to happen, but are just like, I can't believe it's taking so long, like, <laughs> so, you're kind of like this guy watching, watching plants grow, obviously that's very, very slow, and when you're looking at it from day to day, it, it doesn't look like much is changing, so, now, we have the artist and the chariot, this is actually quite interesting, so the artist is, um, it's not an original, or sorry, it is an original tarot card. It's not a traditional one. Um, it's one that the artist of this deck thought up by themselves. Um, and this is sort of the subconscious, it's inspiration. It makes me think of, you know, higher planes, like the soul world or something like that. Um, and so as it pertains to this connection, I do feel that this is a divine connection and it's reminding me of, you know how you'll hear about like twins or soulmates in separation and it's like you're not together in the 3D but you're together in the higher dimension in the, I think it's 5D, I don't really know, but <laughs> in the soul world, in the higher dimension, you are together. So what I can see from this is that um, you know, in the past leading up to now, this connection has been primarily, like almost all, you know, happening up here, happening in the higher dimensions in that it has been very slow to trickle down into the physical. Um, but with this chariot, this is a really, you know, positive card to turn this around because the chariot is like, your chance that you have to grab. So it's like you're waiting and waiting and waiting and then all of a sudden the chance comes and it's quick and it's sudden and you have to go for it and it's like that moment of truth where you don't you don't think about the consequences, you don't think about what anyone's gonna say, you don't think about what if it goes wrong, you just do it. So I think that the future for this connection is that after maybe a long period of separation or silence or just you know everything being up here it's gonna come down like a lightning bolt and you're gonna get this like make it or break it kind of moment where you have to be brave enough to go after it 
but that's very exciting. So next I'm using, so these are Lenormand cards and I've never used these before. <laughs> So we're going to see how it goes. I'm not super familiar with them, um, but I wanted to see how this connection is being helped right now. Because I do think with this, with this artist card, it is being helped. It may not be so apparent to you down here, but there are definitely um, guides, angels working on this behind the scenes. So there's the key the stars and this is clouds <laughs> okay so the key is very interesting it's very exciting too as you can probably guess you know this is about doors being opened this is about things being unlocked so I see this sort of very exciting culminating moment for you in the future where suddenly you have the key and suddenly the door is open for you and you're able to walk in what's kind of interesting though with this um with these cards the star represents like the stars represents like the ending of something and the beginning of something new so it's almost like when you get the chance to make this relationship happen it's like this door is opening and you have to walk through the door, but through walking through that door, you're also, you know, leaving something behind. And it's so strange how this works, but it's like, you know, you've been dreaming for something for so long, you've been wanting this outcome for so long. And then when it's like right there in front of you and it's, it's time to take it, you may actually be confused about what you want. Um, you know, like, sort of like cold feet, I guess, is how I'm feeling it. Um, like, you may be scared to take it, and then you start thinking, like, oh, is this really what I want? Um, alternatively, this could be one of those things, like, you haven't been together, you've been in separation, and so you've told yourself, okay, I'm just going to focus on being happy without this, and just working on myself and being happy anyway you create all this fulfillment in your life and then it's that classic like the relationship comes in when you you don't even really care anymore or like you've, you've kind of moved on and become happy without it and you're not looking for it anymore and then all of a sudden it's here and you're like really now of all times <laughs> so it's it's something like that that I guess once it's now in front of your face and once the opportunity is actually here and that door has been opened you're not as certain about it as you always imagined you would be. You know, maybe in the past you were like really, really longing for it and you're like, I can't wait for it to just rush in and then I'm going to run towards them with open arms and everything's going to be perfect. But then when it actually happens, you're like, you know what? I kind of like my life right now the way it is. I, I don't know about this. <laughs> and so you start, you start to maybe get a little bit confused and have just some doubts about it and, and not about the person but just you know because you've created so much happiness in your current life and now it's like do I really want to end this do I really want to walk away from this do I really want to walk through that door um so that's kind of how I see things playing out for you um but let's see um what your final uh guidance is of how to handle this situation we have soul family, call in your tribe, you don't have to do it alone. Answer the call, what is your soul calling you to do? And get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. So what's interesting that I noticed um, is that both of these cards talk about like a calling. This is saying to call in your tribe and this is saying what is your soul calling you to do. So I do think in this moment of confusion you will get your answer by listening to what your soul is saying and what it wants to do and I think what it really does want to do is call in your family. 
you know? And I think that this person that you're asking about is this. This is your a member of your soul family. This is somebody that you feel very comfortable with and someone who, you know, has obviously been calling you up here for a very long time. And you know, it's natural, I think, to get scared or to get cold feet in the face of what you want. Any kind of, you know, change or any kind of new chapter can be scary. But I think that those, you know, the fears or the second guessing is coming more from your mind and your ego rather than your soul. Because that first instinct feeling that you have is from your intuition, right? So your first feeling that you've had is obviously that you want to be with this person. And then when you let your mind settle in, when you let your fear settle in, that's when you start to maybe think something different. So I do think that you will overcome this fear, overcome this uncertainty, and ultimately end up being with this person. And that's what I feel like this grounded card is referring to, that this connection that has been up here in the higher dimensions for so long is finally grounding itself. It's finally coming down to the 3D. So it, this one is a yes. This one is definitely a yes. Um, it may not always be so obvious to you. <laughs> and you may not always be 100% certain about it, but it, it definitely looks like a yes. Um, so I just wanted to take one more. This is an Angel Answers Oracle for the final outcome of this, this whole situation. And we have this situation will improve. So I think this is a little, you know, reassuring note for you to end on that this situation that you're in now of waiting, of not really seeing anything come to fruition of, you know, day by day, things are not changing. This is going to get better. Things are going to speed up. That is almost guaranteed with this chariot because that's like things getting set into motion, things accelerating, you know, like finally rushing forward. So you are going to come out of this. That, and I have a feeling that maybe, you know, hearing that it sounds nice, but it's very hard to believe because it's like it's been so slow for so long. You know, why, why would it change now? But it's definitely happening for you guys. I, these were all lined up so pretty and now... <laughs> And now they're just everywhere. It's okay. Um, <laughs> the reading, the reading's pretty much done. So I would say just hang in there for a little bit longer and make sure that you're listening to your soul and, and you know what you truly want so that when this does come, you don't get those cold feet. Okay, so I'm going to end the reading there. If you're interested in a personal reading for more information specific to your situation, there is a link in the description where you can see the different types of readings, my availability, pricing, and you can also book it from there. Thank you very much for letting me read for you. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Hi number twos, so if you chose the citrine, this is going to be your reading. So how this reading is going to work, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, how this reading is going to work is that first I want to see the past, present, and future of this connection, and then I want to see if it's being helped or blocked right now, and if so, by what? Um, and then what is likely to happen between the two of you? and some guidance for you along the journey. So, your first card for the energy of your connection. Okay, so, <laughs> um, this, my friends, is the Twin Flame card. Um, I don't know if you I, like identify with Twin Flame or resonate with that idea, um, but this is definitely a high level soulmate who you are fated to be with. What I mean by fated is that of all the possible paths that you can take in your life, because of course you can take any path you're, you want, um, a lot of the paths are going to lead you back to this person and 
these paths are the ones that you intended to take in this lifetime before you came here. Again, not that you have to, but I'm trying to work on, you know, um, I want to encourage like free will stuff more than fate and remind people that they can manifest anything. Um, but when I say fate, that's, that's what I mean. It's, it's the life that you planned with your guides. Can you go off the plan and take artistic liberties? Yes, but <laughs> take that for what it is. I think your higher self, you know, wanted to end up with this person and they're in a lot of your potential life paths. Okay, so that being said, let's look at the past and future of this connection and whether it's being helped or blocked right now. So we have the moon and we have the nine of cups. Okay, so right now I do feel like this connection is being blocked because of the moon, but rather than being blocked by some external circumstance that's out of your control, it's being blocked by yourselves. So in a love reading, the moon, well, the moon can talk about unconscious fears in general, but in a love reading, it's like the fear that you're not going to be loved, um, the fear that, for example, you're not enough, or the fear that um, mistakes or hurts from the past are going to repeat themselves. And so maybe that's you who has these fears or your person, maybe it's both of you, but I think this was a message that you needed to hear is that there are some unconscious fears that are blocking this from coming to fruition right now. Um, but I do see that there is a potential for quite a happy future with this person because the Nine of Cups is about your wish coming true. It's about getting what you want, getting your desire fulfilled and being satisfied with the outcome. It just may be that you don't really believe that um, because of past experiences, either with this specific person, like maybe, you know, you guys have had a fight, maybe, you know, you've been together and broken up before, or maybe you've just had like a really um, rough relationship with somebody else that has sort of changed your views on love and what love can be. Um, but that is what's blocking the connection right now. That's what's blocking this happy future and this divine union. So um, next I want to use, I just got these Le Normand cards recently. I'm like, I've never used them before. So I'm kind of, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Bear with me. But I want to see more about maybe why this is blocked or how this is affecting the relationship right now. This is, I think this one is called the ship, maybe the boat, but <laughs> it's a boat. And this is the coffin. And this is the mountains. So this one is about like future prospects, like setting off into the future. And this one is about, you know, endings, something coming to a stop, and this is about obstacles. So the way I'm reading this right now is like, if whoever this is resonating for, you or your person, or both of you, it's like, it's almost like you're afraid of like following through with a relationship or of hoping for that future for hoping for things to progress because it's just going to die anyway. Like that's kind of how you're viewing relationships. That's kind of what the fear is, is that, you know, these things don't last anyway. Like nothing is permanent. We're just, you know, we're just going to break up anyway. And that, that is creating the obstacle. That's what this mountain is. That's what this hurdle is because it's like, you're, you're too scared to even, you know, try to allow this idea, this connection to come into fruition. It's almost, it's almost like a kind of defeated, like, what's the point sort of feeling that I feel needs to be, 
that needs to be addressed, that needs to be recovered from in order for this to work. Because like I said, you know, even if, you know, we talk about these divine connections and these faded connections, it's not like you're being forced to stick on that path or that you're inevitably going to stick on that path. Like there is, there is work required to live out the life that your soul intended to live. And there are these learning experiences that could, you know, they could become your greatest obstacle or they could become your greatest opportunity to rise up and seize your destiny. You have to seize it. So let's see if we can get some guidance for you about how to, how to deal with this. We have leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. We have Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, Seeding the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan. And we have Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay, so for some situations, for a lot of situations, um, advice that myself and maybe other readers would give you is like, if you have these sort of fears or insecurities or blockages, you should work through them on your own first and then pursue the connection. But what I'm feeling with this is that it's almost like you just need to, you just need to like dive headfirst into it. And that may be the way for you to overcome the fear. Is, is by just doing it. It's like, it's like overcoming a fear of heights by um, putting yourself somewhere really high, you know? <laughs> like becoming not afraid of the thing anymore by doing it um, rather than some isolated inner work and like, okay, I'm not afraid of the thing anymore. Um, like through exposure to it. Anyway, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So... I think this card is suggesting that you just dive into this and it even if you feel scared it's okay. It's okay that that fear that you feel it's not it's not your intuition it's it's your mind playing tricks on you. And what this card is making me think. Ah, it looks like, you know, she's she's like a guide or an angel and she's like plotting out this land, like she's making the layout for you. And so <laughs> this kind of reminds me of, you know, like when you're playing a game and the your person, whoever you are, is like walking across the terrain and the terrain like loads as the person walks. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like if it's out of bounds, it, it will show up as just like a grid or something. But then as your person walks towards it, suddenly the grass and the trees and the buildings like show up as it's moving. That's kind of how I, I see this working. So this happy future is not going to materialize. It's not going to load <laughs> unless you walk towards it and you you trust that, okay, if I take a step in this way, then my guides are going to build that supporting landscape around me. They're going to be with me every step of the way. And through doing this, I'm going to overcome the fear because I will be proven that when I take a leap, it is responded to with affirmations that I'm doing the right thing, that everything is going to be okay, that I'm not alone. And this boundary card makes me think also that your guides are not going to let anything hurt you. As long as you stay with them, as long as you trust them and follow where your higher self, where your soul is telling you to go, you will be protected. It's like there's a force field around you that is going to stop you from getting hurt because when you walk like in according to your divine plan, when you walk according to your truth, it's like nothing, nothing can harm you. You're always being 
protected. You're always being watched over. So this one, I want to say it's a yes. Yes, you will end up together if you are brave enough to you know, get up and walk forward despite how scared you may be, despite even if you think like, oh, this is going to end badly, this is just going to end. If you can be brave enough, like that's, that's real bravery, you know? Like if you're scared of something, but you do it anyway. If you, if you were like, oh yeah, this is going to go great, <laughs> and you just like walked in, that's not very brave. I mean, it's fine, but this is about you overcoming the fear and this is about you walking forward, even if it's scary. And this is about knowing that, knowing that you're going to be divinely guided. Okay, so I want to take just one last oracle card for the final outcome of this situation. And <laughs> yeah, it's ask your angels. So yeah, I think, I think you need some help here. You need some help from your guides. You need some help from your angels. Um, anything you can do to make, to make yourself feel closer to them. If that's, you know, having crystals around or if that's straight up, you know, asking out loud, asking them for guidance out loud. If that's maybe meditating and visualizing them and what they have to say to you but if you can make more of an effort to keep them close to you and to feel their love and protection that's gonna really help you to overcome these fears and to remember that you are destined for the greatest the greatest love of all and that maybe the reason all these other connections die out is because you want to be here you're supposed to be here Never forget, you're divinely guided. There is, there is a plan for you and you are safe. Okay, so I'm going to end this reading here. If you're interested in a personal reading for more information specific to your situation, there's a link in the description where you can see all the different types of readings, my availability, my pricing, and you can also book from there. Thank you very much for letting me read for you today. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hi, number threes. So if you chose the appetite, this is going to be your reading. So how this reading is going to work is I want to take a look first at the past, present, and future of this connection. Um, then I want to see if the connection is being helped or blocked, and if so, by what. Um, and then we can see how things are going to play out for you and get a little bit of guidance for you for this journey. So, your first card to describe the current energy is the Eight of Pentacles. So I think this is a pretty positive card. Um, this makes me think of, you know, doing work on yourself, doing inner work, and sort of preparing yourself for what's to come. So I do think that this message is definitely for you. This may also apply to the person that you're asking about. But what this card kind of makes me think of is like, you're doing like an overhaul of yourself, you know, and, you know, kind of checking in on yourself. Like if I, if I want to be as happy as possible and I want to manifest the happiest connections as possible, you know, what's working for me and what's not going to work anymore. And sort of almost, you know, going through a checklist of like, what beliefs do I have or what behaviors do I have that, that don't really work? And sort of figuring that out for yourself and figuring out how, can you, how you can become the best you that you can be. So I, that's actually really nice and I feel like, I feel quite proud of you. Like you're really, you're really taking accountability for your future and for what you want. And not just this connection, but you know, the types of friendships you want or um, the type of life you want to live, the lifestyle you want to have, um, the dreams that you want to um, realize, <laughs> that's the word, the dreams that you want to realize. You're really putting in the work and so I'm very happy to see that this, this looks quite positive so far. So let's take a look at 
uh, the past and the future, there we go, and if your connection right now is being helped or blocked, although I would be very surprised if it's, if it's being blocked because <laughs> this is quite a good card. We have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I think your connection is definitely being helped right now. Um, I don't think that this needs to be like rushed along in any way. It may be something that's a little bit slower with this Pentacles energy, but every little moment has a purpose and, and every little experience and lesson you're learning along the way has a purpose. I definitely feel that both of you are very much on the right track um, and the experiences you know in the past leading up until now that you guys have had um, whether that be together or separate um, they're really you know growing you <laughs> they're developing you into um, an emotionally intelligent nurturing person who really has you know, control of their emotions and is able to provide for somebody because their own cup is full, you know, like really becoming okay with yourself and really loving yourself and being compassionate for yourself so that you can then extend it to others. That's sort of what I see your past experiences are developing you into and what you're working on right now. Um, you may be working on like heightening your intuition and your spiritual abilities as well because that's sort of what the cups energy represents. Um, and what I see for your future is the Ace of Swords. And so this is like a definitive moment and a deliberate choice. So it's almost like, you know, you're doing this work and, and you're becoming the person that you want to be. I think both of you are. And there will be like a moment where you say, okay, I, I feel ready now. I feel comfortable with myself now and I'm ready to make this happen. So it, it's it's kind of like, I guess it's kind of like a reward, so to speak. Like, because um, this card also talks about, you know, new beginnings and like victory, so to speak. And you can see this hand like extending the sword to you with the crown. It's like, <laughs> it's like your victory. It's like your reward. And now you're making that decision and saying, okay, I'm going to take this now. I'm going to take this opportunity because I feel ready. So this is actually quite positive. Um, it feels like, you know, you're taking, um, you're taking charge where you can take charge and, you know, you're trusting that the universe is going to provide for you. It's going to be in alignment with your desires. And you're absolutely right. So this is going very well so far. So um, next, these are Lenormand cards. I've never used them before. And uh, I don't really know how it's going to go because I haven't studied them too intensively yet. But I wanted to try them out. So let's let's just see. This is the Lily. Is this a Lily? I'm actually... I'm going to check the book. Yes, the lily. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what flowers look like. And um, this is a dog. And the lady. These are all super positive. This reading is like very, very positive. So um, as for whether your connection is being helped or blocked right now, yes, it is definitely being helped. Um, and it, what's very interesting is that these traits really do remind me of this sort of Queen of Cups energy that I see you've been um, you've been learning to embody, or you've been letting um, you've been letting that sort of come out. So the Lily is about purity. It's about simplicity. The dog is about loyalty and trust, and this is about, you know, all things feminine. So, you know, it's kind of like, this reminds me of the Empress a little bit. So, like, intuition, unconditional love, um, fertility, and all of those things that have to do with the feminine archetype. So, you guys may be really connecting with your divine feminine energy and really, you know, getting ready to pursue something with this divine counterpart um and this is really sweet you know because it's gonna be a relationship that is simple and that you're sure of and that is just very like innocent and pure and with this dog it's like 
you're loyal to each other and you're each other's best friend and it's just this very very sweet kind of feeling and it's just yeah it's just simple it's just nice it just feels good so it does seem like a connection that once you are together will flow quite effortlessly and just be very very beautiful for the both of you Okay, so let's see what guidance we can get for you. Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. Keepers of the Earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. And play. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. This is really cute. So you, you have a lot of... You have a very extensive spiritual team, it looks like, and it looks like they're quite invested in helping you, not only with your self-development, but with, you know, really bringing um, this relationship together and getting the ball rolling in the physical. So it looks like you have not only, you know, angels or ascended masters or spirit guides, but it also looks like you have um, ancestors, you have maybe even spirit animals, like you have a very large team, like a very um, diverse team helping you out. And it almost makes me wonder if there is some bigger purpose to this connection. Like it's not just about two people getting together, but perhaps it has a larger scale on the people around you or your community or even the world. Like if you have some some purpose if you have some dream or idea to make the world better um, it's quite likely that this counterpart is that's coming in has the same vision for the world and that you'll be working on that together because I mean it looks like so many people <laughs> are interested in this happening and are sort of you know giving a helping hand and watching and okay they're getting ready for it this this moment of truth is coming this moment of victory is coming where you're gonna be ready and maybe, you know, something that would, I guess, show your readiness for this is if you start working on whatever that purpose is. Um, you know, if this is some dream that you have that you want to, you know, help others, you want to impact the lives of others in a positive way, make the world better. If you can, you know, put the, what is it called? Put your, take the first step, put your first foot forward, get it started, start working on that purpose. I think that's that could be a really good way to get closer to this person um, and to come into union together. And we have this play card too. This is really sweet because it's about, you know, not worrying, not taking things too seriously. So it almost feels like all these people are saying to you, like, don't worry, like, w we we got you. We're helping you through this every step of the way. You're doing amazing. You don't have to question yourself. You just have to follow your joy. You just have to do what makes you happy. You just have to do what lights your soul up. It's that easy. When you follow your joy, you know, you're inevitably going to go where you need to be. And so, you know, throughout this whole reading, I've had this feeling of being like very proud of you and feeling very accomplished and like you're really doing the right thing. So I just think, I just think this is so sweet. Um, so to finish off this reading, I just wanted to take um, one last oracle card to sort of see um, what's happening right now. So we have not the right time. This to me is like a delayed yes. Like this is going to happen, but it's not really quite right yet. So like I said in the beginning, I feel like this sort of growth and development doesn't have to be rushed. Um, I know we can start to get like a little impatient when we like someone or we want a relationship and you know we want it to happen tomorrow but like I said in the beginning too I feel like every step of this has a purpose nothing you know nothing is going to waste every every lesson every experience is very valuable and it does look like there is a bigger plan to it so this is this is something that I suppose is meant to happen at a specific time when specific experiences have been had and a certain a certain level has been reached so I think this is just telling you to be patient don't don't try to rush things and um, just 
enjoy yourself just have fun in the meantime because it's it's all coming together and it looks perfect it looks perfect it's like you have this like delicious cake in the oven and it's baking and you're gonna eat it and it's gonna be great but but you can't you can't take it out yet <laughs> it's I don't know that was that was a weird comparison but that's what this not the right time sort of is making me think of like yes but not now um, okay, so I'm going to end the reading there. If you're interested in a personal reading for more information specific to your situation, there's a link in the description where you can see the different types of readings, um, the availability, the pricing, and you can also book it from there. Thank you very much for letting me read for you. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Hi number fours, so if you chose the fluorite, this is going to be your reading. So how this reading is going to work is first I want to look at the past, present and future of this connection. Um, I want to look at if the connection is being helped or blocked right now and if so by what. Um, and then I want to see the likely outcome for you and get some guidance for you along the journey. So the first card that's going to represent the current energy of this connection is the Four of Cups. Okay, so this card tells me that there's something that you're not seeing in this connection. Much like this guy with his eyes shut cannot see this cup flying in, I feel like there may be something that you're not seeing about this person, about the situation, about what you should do it's like you're missing something and another thing is like you may be too overly fixated it's like you're so fixated on this connection and maybe you even feel stuck in it because this is like um frustration or even like boredom but I, I'm feeling it more like frustration and being stuck and like that there's another opportunity for you and you're not seeing it because you're so fixated on this person. But maybe if you could see this thing about them or you could see the truth of the connection, you wouldn't feel so stuck. Let's see, I'm going to take some more cards because I want to get to the bottom of this. Um, but we have... Mm. <laughs> Eight of Swords and the Page of Wands. Yeah, okay. This definitely this definitely feels stuck. It's like you feel stuck. It's almost like this thing of, you know, I don't know how to proceed with this. I don't know how to make this move forward, but I also don't know how to walk away from it. It feels like there's a lot of uncertainty. This Eight of Swords card, this is about you know, being trapped by your mind or feeling like you can't get out of something or you can't make a decision, but it's it's because your own, the way you're thinking about the situation is holding you back. So, I mean, this this could be something like, you know, you just really liked this person for a long time or you just, you can't get over them or you feel bad about walking away, you feel bad about pursuing something else, but the way you've been, you know, thinking about this connection from the past leading up until now seems to be blocking the union that you deserve to have. And with this page of wands too, it's like, I just feel like something is being withheld that would help you get out of this, because the page of wands is about like, you know, going your own way, making a decision, like getting something started. And so I don't know if this is representing you like making a move within this connection or if this is you being like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go my own way and go off on my own. But it is, it's a little bit of an uncertain energy. It's a bit of a confusing energy. Um, it feels like you're almost like missing a piece of the puzzle that would help you make the decision about this person and whether you should stay or go. Because I honestly feel like if you chose this pile, you're kind of torn right now. 
like you really like them but then nothing's happening and you don't know if maybe you're wasting your time or something like this. So these are Le Normand cards. I've never used them before and <laughs> we're gonna see how it goes because I've like just started to learn about them but I wanted to try using them today. Um, so I wanted to see a little bit more about like what this could be, what this blockage could be, or what this thing is that you're not seeing. There's the fox, the snake, and the moon. So, mm, these are not like the nicest cards, the fox and the snake. Um, this card is about manipulation, and this card is about like lies and deceit. Um, and then the moon, it's about recognition or popularity or how others are seeing you. So I almost wonder like if this person is maybe, you know, acting a certain way or making you believe that they are a certain way to kind of keep you around or kind of string you along or, you know, make make you see them as something that they're not really you know, for your attention or just to, you know, have control over you or something like that. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a malicious thing. Um, it could just be that they're insecure and you, maybe they know that <laughs> you're kind of feeling like, okay, this isn't going anywhere. Maybe this isn't the best situation, but they want to keep you around. So they'll act a certain way. Maybe they'll, you know, give you a little bit of hope. Like they'll, they'll say something like, Oh, I really care about you and I want to be with you, but da 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 da. Like, I, I have to work on this, or sort of keeping it like ambiguous and keeping this image that you can be with them and not really showing their true self or their true intentions. And I think that's kind of what you're not seeing. And you're becoming fixated on this person because, you know, they've given you hope. They've given you this image, but it's keeping you, it's keeping you trapped here. And it's keeping you in this sort of like in-between state of like, I like this person, but nothing's really happening. And I think, you know, if you saw who they truly were or what they truly wanted from you, you would want to, you know, go off on your own, do your own thing, take control back. Mm. It seems like a kind of sticky situation for you. And just because we have like the fox and the snake, I am a little bit wary of this person and this situation in general. But let's see. Um, what some guidance for you is break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe oops <laughs> and um im rama where are you being called to journey to so this is kind of interesting. We have, you know, like breaking a chain. It makes me think of setting yourself free, breaking a cycle, you know, breaking this, these chains that are holding you, almost like holding you hostage in this situation, in this connection, in this, you know, like this sort of feeling of hope and then not getting anything from it. It's like you're breaking free of that. Um... And this may be, you know, a pattern that has happened, like, in past relationships, in past connections. It may be, um, it may be a matter of karma and, like, some lesson that you have to learn about yourself. Um, how to, you know, set more boundaries or how to be more, you know, be more confident of your self-worth and what you deserve. But what it's looking like is that rather than, you know, sticking around and ending up with this person that you will break free from them. Another thing that makes me think that is because we have this card, like the Great Gathering, that's talking about, you know, soul tribes and soul families coming together. Um, 
but it's also talking about you being called to journey somewhere. And because you're being asked, you know, to go somewhere else, it makes me think that the soul family, that soul connection that you're looking for doesn't lie here, but rather in the place that you're journeying to, the place that you go to after you break this chain. It's like you're being called out of this cave and, and into the light. And like this is your home and your family's in there. It feels like freeing yourself. It feels like opening your eyes. Like both of these people can't see. And it, it, it just feels like, you know, you're stuck in this situation because there's something that you can't see. And it's because this person is hiding, hiding themselves from you, hiding their true intentions from you and putting on this sort of facade. So I'm going to take just one last card um, for your final outcome. This is Angel Answers Oracle and we have forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this makes me think of, you know, for healing the past, forgiving yourself, forgiving this person, and forgiving, you know, anybody in the past who has made you feel this way. Because I do think that with this card about, you know, patterns and like breaking the chain, breaking the pattern, and healing. This could be something that has like repeatedly happened to you, like you've attracted this kind of person into your life. So it's about forgiving them because, you know, in the end they have taught you something. They have steered you in the right direction of ultimately going towards your home and your family. And also forgiving yourself and, you know, showing yourself compassion as you've gone through this journey that may have not always been easy and maybe cause you sometimes to, you know, struggle and doubt yourself. It's about making peace with the situation, I think. Making peace with everything that's gone down and knowing that you don't you don't have to like stay here and clean up this mess. You don't have to try to change this person or fix this person this is their own stuff and you have your own places to be you have your own you know your own soulmate to find so to me this is about like making peace with the situation and moving on and listening to you know where you're being called to go and what feels good in your heart because i just feel like the situation here is one that brings a lot of doubts and frustration. Okay, so this one, of all the readings, this one is looking more like a no. Um, unless this person were to, you know, go through some serious changes um, and perhaps somewhere down the road, if they were able to, you know, come back and say, like, I'm sorry, this is who I really am. This is how I really feel. And, you know, I, I wasn't being my true self because I was scared. You know, maybe there can be a reconciliation down the road. But for the time being, I feel like there's other places you need to be. And this is a situation that is, you know, draining a lot of your energy a lot of your power and it, it feels kind of like a powerless place to be so it looks like right now it's best to sort of forgive and forget and clean the slate and move on and come out of this cave so i'm gonna end the reading there if you're interested in a personal reading for more information specific to your situation there's a link in the description where you can see all the different types of readings the availability, the pricing, and you can also book it there. Um, thank you very much for letting me read for you today. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!